Well, holy smokes, guys, we gotta talk about these twats tonight. We got a lot of these conspiracies to get through as well. We got a lot of these clips that I wanna share with you guys. Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you're brand new. We're gonna get right into it immediately. Get your baffle meters at hand. And if you do use Instagram, I would definitely love to have you there as well. All right, roll it. This is Fallen Angel technology. Humans Angel? cannot do this. What you're looking at, by the way, that's a hair. What you're looking at is an Apple chip, a processor chip under a microscope. It's literally impossible we can do what you're about to see. It's quite obviously magic. It's literally magic. Like it's always been since the beginning of time. Fallen Angels giving us crazy technology that we could otherwise not do. If you think that humans could just out the blue do this, then you are fooled. Damn. This is literally a copycat, a mimic of God's creation of the earth on a microscopic level. I mean, look how the oh. cities are laid out. Like in the stars, you can see a grid pattern, like an energy pattern that exists. Yeah. Do you know how close in we are right now? This is so ridiculous to think that we could even do this. Our phones are literal. You're telling me this is real. I mean, of course, I was aware, like, hey, th these are like tiny circuits, like tiny, tiny t uh, wires and crap like that. Yeah, it's a real thing, but was uh, did i thought did i think that it was gonna be this crazy i uh, nah man never at all black mirrors that we are holding in our hand is literal black magic literally you can watch somebody else like even further if, if you're a hacker you can hack into someone's phone and see what they're doing at the moment exactly like a crystal ball in a diviner really quickly just for Damn. perspective this is the zoom out like how small this is, is freaking ridiculous that we could yeah. ever even, you know, create at such a small, uh, microscopic level. It is not human. I'm telling you, it's not human. Now, th to be fair though, there has been conspiracies which said that, you know, the LED lights and all this technology, the reason we advanced that quick is because of oh, this technology was given to us by aliens. I mean, some believe that those are fallen angels, some believe that those are demo demons, uh, whatever you believe in, let me know in the comments below. But these are conspiracies though, so very, very fascinating stuff though. Wait for it. I've always been perplexed by the creation of the microchip. I remember watching some movie as a kid where these kids find a stuffed bear or something from the future, and when they look inside to see what's powering it, because it's using artificial intelligence, they find a microscopic sized processor that has Intel written on the side of it. They knew all the way back when I was a kid that this tech would go in this direction, that these Damn. chips would get faster and faster and smaller and smaller. smaller. It's hard to wrap your head around this though. How do we even have the tools available to create something with such detail on a microscopic level? Yeah. That's that's yeah, absolutely yeah. crazy, and I can totally see why that guy is assuming that this was tech that was given to us. I'm not in agreement with his synopsis, but I can certainly see how he arrived there. This is the terrifying moment that amusement park guests were stuck dangling midair 200 feet and a freak storm in a Mexico City Six Flags on a ride that they shut down, but they couldn't get the passengers off in time. Oh, man. Ride gets stuck. I'm starting to develop a fear of amusement park rides just since the creation of my YouTube channel due to- uh, I, I don't like amusement parks, man. I don't know. I'll be the first one to admit it. Yeah, call me, uh, like, call me, like, Ooh, they, all that words. I don't care, man. I don't like the rides. I don't like the rides. The sheer number of videos that we've watched on here of people getting stuck on rides, seriously injured when a ride malfunctions, and even people getting killed on these things. There's absolutely going to be some PTSD for the people stuck on that ride. Be being stuck on a metal structure that high up in the air during a storm, every second you're up there is another opportunity for you to get struck by lightning and there ain't nothing you can do about it. That's one of the scariest situations I've seen yet on one of these ride failure clips. Hey. I always have parachute on you, man. That's all what I'm gonna say. Like, if you're gonna go on these <laughs> rides, have parachutes! Okay, of course, I'm joking around. Shout out to the homie Barry Step. If you've been feeling the shift in the world, here's why. We are about to enter the last period in a 180-year cycle called Period 9, according to Chinese astrology. The last 20 years was ruled by the Earth element, which is why agriculture, real estate, higher education, especially institutional education, and young men were main focus, like Mark Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, and Jeff Bezos. The next 20 years, we're shifting to the fire element. So this is all about technology, creativity, artificial intelligence, women. But what does this mean for you? Two different types of non-physical worlds are going to grow astronomically. The first is cloud-based technology, artificial intelligence, electricity, internet, 5G, anything remote, AR, VR, metaverse, ET, satellites, you name it. 
yes, I do think we're going to come into alien slash ET contact. The second area of non-physical world that's going to come into major focus is the spiritual world, the psychic world, the shaman. Yo, sister, spinning right now. Sister, going crazy right now. Demonic journey. There will be major conversations and developments around remote viewing, remote travel, spiritual intelligence, heart-based intelligence. There might even be a cure for Alzheimer's or schizophrenia, anything that is the disease of the mind or the brain. And I truly believe that the people who don't keep up with the developments of these two intangible worlds are going to feel lackluster, left behind, emotionless, kind of numb. I'm not a fan of the whole prediction thing. That being said, I do think this is likely true. I see a massive shift happening in the consciousness of the world at the moment. A lot of people are waking up to the lies they're being fed and are actively searching for the truth. The veil is being lifted. In the lifting of that veil, I'm seeing all the things she's predicting taking place in real time. The conversations around these topics are really ramping up and the information available to us is getting deeper and deeper by day. I think the idea that we're going back into the age of astral projection or more of a focus on mindfulness makes perfect sense. I think we're going to rediscover the way that we used to view the world. Now, there are a lot of people that do claim that they have done astral projection and all that. I, I, I want to know, like, if any of you ever done that, how do you do it, though? How do you do it, man? There was only one instance where, a bit, those of you that do not know, astral projection is about, uh, like, you, uh, your spirit leaving your body and you're you able to control your spirit. You're sleeping, your physical body sleeping, but you're in, like, another realm, like, astral realm, right? Like, your your spirit leaves and you can control it. I know it sounds like a fairy tale, but uh, it, it is crazy. There are so many people that claim to have done it. Are all those people lying? I'm not sure. Are all those people speak speaking facts? I don't know, like, once again. But at one instance, there was one point where I actually dreamt and I was able to control it for, like, two seconds. But after that, I be I could not. I believe it. And I woke up, right? I believe it's as though my, my, my brain realized that I was dreaming. I guess that's also another factor, too. If your brain realizes that you're dreaming, you kind of wake up. You know, you know what I mean? It's uh, one of those things, too. So I actually experienced a little bit, you, you can say, it's like maybe it was lucid dreaming or something like that, but astral projection is a next step, a step further. There's also like a lot of conspiracies with remote viewing as well. CIA has done some tests on it. People, according to studies and stuff like that, people do claim that it's not even conspiracy. It's actually a fact, which I'm not sure. I'm just, uh, I'm Mr. Nobody out here, okay? Like, I, I don't know what's true, what's not. We're just in search for the truth here. And it, it's fascinating stuff, man. It is fascinating I stuff. I feel like a spiritual awakening is coming soon. The Eastern Equine Encephalitis Virus, where 30% of the infected will die and most survivors will develop neurological issues. The Eastern Equine Encephalitis Virus is spread to horses and humans by the bite of an infected mosquito. These mosquitoes tend to live in swamps or swamp surrounding areas. Eastern Equine Encephalitis, also known as Triple E, was first discovered in 1831 when 75 horses died mysteriously from this disease. Holy. The first human case was reported in Tennessee in 2019. Although this is a very rare virus and only very few cases are reported each year, it's very fatal. This infection causes your brain to swell, which can cause disorientation, seizures, and coma, making it one of the most severe encephalitis. Approximately a third of the patients who come in contact with this disease will die, and many of the survivors will have mild to severe brain damage. There is no antivirus for this disease, so using insect repellent containing DEET, picaridin, or using lemon eucalyptus on your skin or clothing will help protect against mosquito bites. I just okay. thought I needed to throw this in here because we talked about Triple E in yesterday's video and I got a ton of comments from people asking what it is. That's a good breakdown of it, but I would take the warnings a bit lightly. From what I read online, it can absolutely cause those symptoms, but what I read didn't say that most people would end up with brain damage or nerve damage, but that it was a possibility that someone okay. could end up with those symptoms. This is as new to me as it is to all of you. I just heard about it for the first time yesterday, but just be careful where you get your information on it because I'm already starting to see conflicting information. Yeah, make sure it's not TikTok. Ow, the information is coming from TikTok. <laughs> yeah, make sure it's not TikTok. But now, honestly, though, like a lot of these videos are very fascinating. Maybe true, might not be. As uh, Third Phase of Moon once said, in my opinion, it could be both right, it could be wrong. He did once said that, uh, once said that, and it was uh, absolutely hilarious. In my opinion, it could be right. In my opinion, it could be wrong, guys. And around side effects and infection rate risk, depending on where you read about it.
The BRICS nations, or the BRICS trading bloc, are about to bring out their own asset-backed currency. And apparently, according to this video, if you go back and watch it, that's going to be, and it's going to be valued at 55 US dollars what? per one BRICS token or BRICS currency, whatever that's, that's going to be. That, that's expensive, man. That's a lot of money right there, bro. So let that sink in for a second. 55 US dollars for one dollar of the BRICS currency to trade within that trading block. Now, have you considered when this comes to pass, what that's going to do to the cost of imports for the United States? Where all of a sudden, instead of buying stuff overseas from a position of strength as the world's reserve currency, uh, where, you know, they would always get way more currency in, in a foreign country because they held the US dollar, which was quite strong. Now, that's being flipped on its head. So now they are in. How much, it how much uh, that Canadian maple dollar would be required to get that one bricks? Because, uh, yeah, I have that maple, Canadian maple dollar, guys. Bruh. Yeah, and it's not worth right now that much. I mean, 55 USD would easily be like 70 or 75 Canadian. It's sad, guys. It is sad, man. 100 USD is like 134, 35 Canadian. Sad, man. Shit's sad, bro. Importing from a position of weakness rather than strength, where, uh, you know, one US dollar is oh sorry 55 us dollars equals one dollar of uh of value within that bricks um BRICS sort of coin. trading currency but to be fair though nowadays like everybody got their own coins right like yeah it, 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 like who cares at that point it, it's like so many different cryptocurrencies and all of them got like different values so that means fifty five thousand dollars would get like a thousand dollars worth of value within that trading. Do you understand what that's going to do to inflation that's already running rampant in the US? Now, I'm t I've told you in a previous video the US dollar is going to go to zero because it's backed by nothing but debt. All it is going to take now, all the ducks have been lined up. Uh, there's enough nations now that are joining this BRICS uh, sort of trading block. Um, what? And all it's going to take now to crash the US dollar is for them to have, uh, uh, let's say, a little get together a little BRICS conference that they get together all of them decide that they're going to drop the US dollar simultaneously and start to trade in their native currencies between one another within the trading block and at the same okay like there are fireworks going on like I don't know whether this is real or not bro like I, I was already doubting but now that there are fireworks effect happening like I don't know but now nah, what if this man is speaking facts like okay Google BRICS and if there are having like a uh, uh, like a different countries getting together talking about it then maybe there's some truth to it but i wouldn't be panicking this big uh, or this early same time ditch all their u.s treasury bonds in one but but to be fair though like you want to make sure like your money is invested and not necessarily you, you don't want to have too much cash on hands right because cash is usually useless nowadays i don't even know what to tell you to prepare for this one it's going to hit the entire country I think our only hope is to get off the Federal Reserve and go back to an actual currency that's backed by gold. I just don't see that happening because there's too many people in power getting rich off the current system. But this current system is not going to be so appealing when the money that these elites are pulling off the gold is considered quite safe and it grows naturally grows uh, organically. I mean, like uh, because in stocks, yes, yeah, stock can go up and down, but gold does not necessarily. It doesn't bounce too much either. It doesn't go up too crazy. It doesn't go down too crazy either, but historically speaking, it goes up. I mean, invest in the stock market too, historically it goes up, right? Have like, if you don't have any knowledge, just invest in like good ETFs that would mimic S&P 500, right? Which are, in which uh, there are a lot of stocks, right? You got uh, NASDAQ as well, right? You got a lot of the Tesla stocks. Uh, yeah, Tesla stock, Amazon, Googles and all that. Just buy an ETF that actually invests in all of these blue chip, these bigger companies and you're good. You're you're good You if, if you have no knowledge. Uh, because historically, all the stocks would go up. In the long run, they always go up. The top is about as valuable as the money in Venezuela. My buddy, Internet Warlords, sent me this video, satellite imagery from NASA showing the Earth and the moon traversing the sun's face from who knows how far away oh now, man those of us who have common sense Earth, would moon. look at this and say <laughs> uh, there's quite a few problems with this but it just looks fake does it not 
So we hit the comment section talking about how fake it is and Glover say these comments. We need to do better with education. Can't fix stupid. They say, boss, don't waste your time on kindergarten flirts. Education failed many people. That's what I'm saying, yes. One guy says, too late. Critical mass has already taken hold. We're well on our way to idiocracy. They say, the way your brain works is literally embarrassing. Reading your comments is comedic gold. I can smell your scientific illiteracy from here and ugh. They want to school us on perspective. How's this for perspective? Go to the description and it says, this is a simulation. <laughs> Based on data. Based on data. Bruh. Bruh. Oh. <laughs> the poetic irony here is yeah. satisfying. We saw this and said, you know, something don't sit right with us. It looks pretty fake. And all the people blindly deciding to believe it started mocking and ridiculing us just to be wrong in the no, end. No, the sun is definitely big, but I don't think, uh, I guess the point here is that it's not that big, right? End. Do better. Give it a little time, and you'll likely see a nearly identical video from NASA claiming that it's real. <laughs> I think they just put this out there to gauge people's reactions. I'm sorry, I just don't trust anything that they put out. I think the most shocking part about this video is that they actually tell you it's a computer-generated image. <laughs> Bruh. I've had a lot of weird experiences. NASA means never a straight answer, folks. This is mad. So I was walking my dog, we turn the corner, and I see this looks like somebody coming out of the woods. When it reaches the street, it stops and it stands in our path, maybe like 50 feet away. It looked like it was just made of white light, standing in our path. Thought about later, I didn't hear like stepping on any twigs or leaves when it was coming out of the woods. It was just completely silent. This is when I had a little flip phone. I'm gonna take a picture of it, but I couldn't. It was just ridiculous. And finally, I just said to Linda, my dog, I said, let's just get out of here. But we went back home, and you know, I told my wife and people on Facebook about it. But the very next day, I'm driving down that same street. I reach the end of the street, and there's one of those big LED traffic signs. Yeah. It's like yeah, hit yeah. and run, call this number. I saw this ghostly figure shortly after there was a hit and run at the end of the street. It sounds like it's connected. I was shocked. And if you like personal paranormal accounts like this, we just launched a new episode of the podcast yesterday with several new callers recounting firsthand experiences of UFO sightings and ghostly apparitions that appeared in their home. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, or if you're a fan of the old Coast to Coast AM radio show, the link to the newest episode is in the description of this video. I would love Shout out to Barry Stepman, and I want to also show you guys this video here. Shout out to the homie UFO sightings, really? So let's uh, watch this man actually use the AI. He always loves the AI, man. So we got three different UFO photos, Colorado, Florida, and California. Photograph was taken in January 1996 in Denver, Colorado, USA. Now, a person, a photographer for the newspaper, Joe Crowler, who was photographing some workmen painting some gold Jeez. balls on a monument, he was waiting for the men to finish painting so that he could take the photograph. And this bell-shaped object passed across the sky. Uh, since he already had the camera in hand, he took one picture of the object, and then it went behind the building. Then when it came back around the other side, he took a second picture of it. I don't have that picture. I only have one. There are three people in the photo, and none of them seem to even notice the UFO passing by, He's, he confessed. Oh, so man. look at man like okay how how did you not like it's it, it sticks out like a sore thumb there are no clouds it's uh, daylight right like how how you did not it, it, it sticks out like a sore thumb it clear as day this guys look at this and it has that shiny uh, area on top which and could be down as well a window it could be a window on top we talked about that before in past videos and the shiny white okay you got one car here maybe this is another truck looks like a truck you got these feel like it feels like that these are people you got building here so people must have been working inside i already feel like that lights are on inside right here and you're able to see but since it's daytime of course you're not going to be able to see much what's happening on the inside right yeah so you're telling me unless it was you know there was nobody inside that makes sense but you're telling me nobody inside saw what was going on on on, on behind them or to the right or to the left of them the area could be a window, an area that is impenetrable to be seen from the outside or impenetrable by a, a, a photographer what we or a camera. What are we thinking? Fake video? Fake uh, fake image or perhaps real? So you cannot photograph the beings inside all the time if they don't want to be seen. Now this one, 
This one was taken in Florida, USA on, Gen on 1996. Now, in this photograph uh, in Florida, it, you see a, what looks like a military helicopter, at least to me. You see the pine needles on the tree is so sharpened, okay? And it, it's just pretty detailed to me. That looks like, uh, would Chopper. you say that's a Apache? It Apache, looks like it to yeah. me, but I'm not sure. Didn't do a lot of work Damn. on helicopters in the Air Force, mostly B-1s and B-2 bombers. This, however, is pretty sharp. Now, this is AI, before AI, after AI. Before AI on the left, AI on the right. And uh, I'm going to sharpen it two times over with AI to make it a little bit sharper. Wow, look at that. Isn't that amazing? You can really see the detail of the trees and everything. That is clearly a military helicopter. Clearly a military helicopter. And the object it's next to is a UFO, unidentified flying object. Okay, not alien, I'm saying unidentified flying object to us. Do you think it belongs to a military? Do you think it's escorting it? Do you think um, uh, they're intercepting it with a helicopter? Yeah, aliens, uh, you guys need to step aside. Otherwise, we're gonna give you a speeding ticket out here, right? Like that's, yeah, I think that's what was going on. It seems kind of slow for a helicopter. Maybe maybe they were uh, getting like a speeding ticket or something. Oh crap, my bad, guys. Let me put the face cam here. That bit. Uh, but if a military officer was flying the UFO, he might go a little slower and settle for a helicopter escort. Now, this yeah, final this one, one was taken on January 1995 in Borrego Desert, California. Now, this, again, has a, the white, shiny surface on the top area that looks like, to that, me... That might be the sun reflection. ...the perfect location for a dome or a window to look through. Again, it's white. Again, it's white and sh and shiny, like it's uh, not supposed to be visible from the outside, only visible from the inside. So it's probably transparent Maybe. for the pilots and everything. But what or, is or it's just a sun reflection. Could be that, or maybe you're right. Maybe you're right. Is, that, is it a UFO? Is it an alien craft? AI on the right, AI two on the right, uh, AI one on the left. Now, uh, this is the second version here. Is that an Amer American UFO? Is that an American spacecraft? Is it? Is it? We got. We might have to get the alien out of it and check his butt cheeks uh, to see if the stamp is uh, of America on his ass or not. Okay, that's. I guess we need to find out. Yeah, that's a fair question, guys. Check out this video on the screen. This is the last episode that we uploaded. If you enjoyed this, you're gonna love this one. Don't sleep on this one. All right. Check this out, and I'll see you right there. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left, boys.